This build is sponsored by wood to works where you can get quality woods for your luthery, turning and carving needs. They ship worldwide and have a great service to help you choose through their great selection. So I remove all the components of the mando cello strings and everything. I've sanded, I've flushed top and back to the sides and make sure there was no discrepancy on the sides. And then I've got my uh, binding here that's going to be black, white, black all around. And then for the top, because it's torrified spruce, I made sure that uh, the torrified, uh, because it's uh, easy to break, uh, that I would be able to go along with my grammar. Uh, and there's a video on how I make that. So I'm going to be able to go around without breaking the fibers. So now the, the fibers are all soaked in the the shellac and then once the binding is uh, taped on and uh, set i'll be able to send that all back out uh, after so i i set my grammel to the proper uh, size here for a thickness of uh, uh, of the cut and then the grammel itself just uh, breaks the fiber uh, it doesn't remove the whole thing, so I will have to go back either with hand tools or in my case I will use my little router. But the, the fact I'm using the Grammel actually allows me to have a, a more precise uh, profile for the binding thickness all around. Now using the Grammel here, I'm going to start from here pushing this way as the fibers are moving that way and then I'm going to come back here and move the other way here because of the fibers. You don't want to go against the fibers, you really want to go from the center and back out. Now I'm set on the flat section of the grammel, so that's going to allow me to follow the curves uh, that are here, but this curve here for the point and the curve at the other end for the other point, I won't be able to do that. So that's why I also have a rounded profile on the grammel and I'm going to have to go back after, but I'll be able to do most of the instrument set this way. So I'm taking very, very light cuts to start. And as soon as I notice that, like right here, that the cutter seems to want to go away from the edge, that's where I'm going to stop. This tight radius here I change to the other side of my grammel so like I mentioned earlier so I can use the curved side to really go into uh, the, the proper depth here.